How's it going guys? Bring your platoon here once again and welcome back to another good game in World of Tanks Xbox One Edition. Today I'm going to be driving the Tier 6 American Heavy Tank, the M6 Heavy Tank. Yeah, that's what it's called, that's what I called it. It's the M6. You know it, you love it, and if you don't, I don't see why you don't. Um, it's got a good rate of fire, it's pretty friggin' accurate. Uh, you can side scrape in it. It's hard to do, but you can do it just because of the way the uh, front hull is shaped. But you can definitely bait people to shoot at you and bounce off your side. Uh, the premium rounds are great 243 millimeters of penetration, I think. And then you, your standard rounds are 165 millimeters of pen. Uh, I do believe that's the same on the Hellcat. Could be wrong though. Pretty similar if it's not the same high explosive rounds all I have them on there for is like Stura mills and tier 8 borsigs on the German line just because I can go right through them and add some alpha to my shot so why not why not have them but yeah this thing's mobile its frontal armor is nah, not so great you're gonna pretty much use it for peek -a boom tactics the entirety you're playing the, the entire time you're playing this thing and I am facing tier 7s so grant so naturally I'm uh, gonna have premium loaded for a majority of the game I do believe so there's a light tank I'm not spotted yet miraculously clearly he has a great crew on uh, very unfortunate for him and I'm gonna use this hill right here I can pen right through that Leo's upper what the hell is it? In the turret, because the Leo is not armored for shit. And neither is the big top, although I will need a little bit extra pen to go through the big tops turret. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use this hill and be super aggressive because this is where my team is. If I go anywhere else where my team isn't, I'm just going to get shit on because I'm going to get seen from a mile away. I can't, even in my turret, I can't really... Uh, deny people shots into it because if they hit it and they have even mediocre penetration like even this tier 6 could prop the tier 6 light tank could probably pen it with premium no problem and it's pretty flat so yeah that's kind of not great kind of worried about the leo hitting me just because he does have kind of a derp gun if he's using it and if not then he's got a damn good semi-automatic gun or semi-automatic he's got a good little pew pew gun it's accurate it fires quick etc don't know how that one goes in but I'll take it um, they also have a panther one of the better German medium medium tanks in the line I do love the panther I do not like the panther 2 though despite having a better accurate gun let's not get off track here I'm in the M6 tank I'm facing tier 7s I'm doing the very best that I can to deny these people this hill M oh love the server lag thanks wargaming uh, tiger131 is charging I want him gone just because his DPM potential is crazy and if our team doesn't take him out very very quickly then we're gonna have problems very very quickly ourselves and the tiger131 is dead this idiot charged with him let's punish him for it and he's got one more shot left in him before he dies too I'm gonna charge because I'm tired of taking poke shots at that panther and I do believe that they have a, yeah, a tank destroyer sniping in the back because that's what you do with a tank destroyer. That thing has decent armor, I, I, I would think. No, not really. With premium, I can pen it no problem. So that means the armor's terrible. Um, but yeah, right in the lower plate. That's great. If I hit there again, I'll probably pen it. Did I shoot a premium at him and pen his lower plate or did I shoot a standard round and pen his lower plate either way I know he keeps aiming at me let's see if we can get another shot in nope it bounced off because of the severe angling in his upper front plate which is fine more server lag fucking love it and then I put a premium right in his upper plate because fuck that guy <laughs> I've got a great crew on this thing <coughs> sorry I'm choking on my own saliva I think I have like 13 or 15 or even 16 uh, skills on this crew it's been forever since I opened the game forgive me for my ignorance but uh, yeah it's my e5 crew and I three marked that thing so yeah it's got a shit ton of crews or a shit a shit ton of crews a shit ton of skills and perks on it from that so 
Yeah. Gonna three mark this. I've already three marked every other tank on the line, and then I'm gonna three mark the tier five. What is the tier five? I don't remember what the tier five is called. The heavy tank for the American line. What the fuck is it called? I don't remember. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's how you know it's been a long time since you played. Um, that's actually quite embarrassing. T1 heavy? No, that's that doesn't sound right. Let's just move on. So, they've got a few tanks left. I've got already a decent amount of damage. Uh, 3,200 combined, to be exact. Uh, this Leo is going to cause us problems if I don't take him out. I was contemplating ramming him, but I figured taking the low ground would be better, considering that that little guy was still alive, and I did not want a alpha shot from him to go into me if I were to, if I were to screw this up. So, what can I do? Mm, I can miss a shot because that's brilliant, and now I'm caught in a very precarious situation because now there's a medium to my left, they still have an arty, that TD is probably going to be sniping, I take a snapshot at that guy, Leo fucking hits me, good on him for taking the shot when I was distracted. Also, the Leo I also believe has phenomenal gun depression, is he going to charge me? He absolutely is. Oh yeah, no, no, okay, and then there's the grill, so I'm like, okay, fuck this. I'm done being out in the open, thanks, and I just have to take a chance here that the grill's gonna miss me because I keep waiting to be undetected. My ISU-122S takes care of the Leo behind me that was spotting me, and I get detected shortly, or er, undetected shortly after. They've got a heavy tank left, and that TD, which the other TD is heading towards right now, who is currently detected. Not my TD, but the enemy TD, and I don't know where this heavy tank is. Is he sniping at, like, two, the two-line, or is he... Okay, no, he's in the K-line, because why not? <sighs> Out in the open? Oh, of course he is. Will I get a shot of damage before he dies? Probably not. I don't... Yeah, he's dead. Okay, cool. So, game's not over yet. There's the arty. Can I get a shot on the arty? Maybe? Meh? Oh, do I get the kill on the arty, at least? How cool would that be? Wait for it. Oh, of course I do! Because this thing snipes like a boss. No, it doesn't. It's terrible. Don't don't believe that. Um, but yeah, frontal armor on this thing is ass. If you want any success in it in like corridor maps, just side scrape with it very carefully. Because if any of those side pieces are showing, they're just going to shoot that. And when you poke out to shoot at them, they're going to shoot at your turret or your front profile. And it's not great. So that's an ace tanker mastery. It did more damage than the tier 7s on my team because this game is hard. And their team could barely get over their HP pools. Oh my god. Whew, this game must be hard. But yeah, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed my classic commentary. And if you didn't, well, then I'm sorry. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you next time.